We continue our conversation with Republican State Senate candidate Eric Wimberger. Uh, you know very well the first two Packery games this year, we're going to have no fans. It could be even games after that with no fans. Anything lawmakers can do on the state level to ease this economic blow, or is this just in the hands of the NFL and, and we can't do anything about it? Well, uh, my parents put me on the season ticket list when I was born and, uh, in 1979, and I, I got them when I was 32. Um, so I, I, I'm very aware of uh, how people want to go because I waited so long myself. Um, the things that government can do are limit liability for, for COVID, I suppose. Um, and that, that would probably help a lot, uh, just to limit the liability, because businesses are making a, a f basically a financial decision on, um, you know, is, some, is someone who came into the place uh, going, to, going to say that uh, they were injured because of a negligent um, exposure to a virus? Uh, so absent that, there's not a whole lot that uh, uh, I really foresee, because it really is a financial decision on risk. Mm -hmm. I want to hit on a few quick points here with the time we have left. Um, you are uh, looking for real solutions for the PFA situation in Marinette County. What would that right. be? Well, I'll tell you what, um, there's been a lot of blustering. Um, people go up there, uh, including the, the soon-to-be former senator, and, you know, shake their fist and hold a poster with a, with a, a poison sticker on it. Um, and you can make regulations to improve water quality in the future, and that's great, but what do, you, what do you do with the people who have been damaged? And this isn't just from one area, it seems. Uh, you have the, the runoff from the Tyco facility um, for the surrounding areas, but it appears as though uh, some of the sludge that was going to the wastewater treatment plant was then spread on some farm fields, which uh, is causing the PFAS um, contamination far from the facility. And how do you do this? So the, the real solution here is, um, is, very, is actually kind of very similar to what is being ignored with the uh, police protesters, is that um, there's, there's going to be a, a roadblock here when uh, you want to file a lawsuit, and there's actually one that's that's been filed and it's moved to the Northern uh, District of South Carolina, I believe, um, in federal court for various PFAS issues all consolidated. But what they're gonna need is an expert to talk not about, not only about the dangers of PFAS, but also that uh, the, the PFAS contamination is the, the thing that um, has affected somebody's health mm -hmm. because the first thing that's going to happen is, a claim, is going to be a claim from those who might be responsible that, well, your high cholesterol is because of your diet. Right. And so you actually, right. need, you actually need an expert to come and do that. do that. Eric, I've got about, about 30 seconds left here, and I want to give you the opportunity. Why you as opposed to Jonathan Hansen? Sure. Um, I have a, a long life experience that uh, I don't think my opponent has. Uh, I grew up here. I've worked in the factory here. Um, uh, I've, I've gone to school um, and, uh, and drove a semi for Schneider for a while. Um, I've been around the world in the Marine Corps. Started my own small business. I've been involved in small businesses. And I, I think uh, my whole experience and ability to understand problems and come up with good solutions uh, is going to be better than my opponents. Eric Wimberger, much appreciated. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. And if you have a newsmaker in your town who you think we should have on the show, let us know about it. Send us an email at tips at wearegreenbay.com or message us on Facebook. And be sure to join us once again Sunday morning at 730. Until then, have a great day.